Welcome back to another YouTube video. It is your girl Lynn Wei, and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and the focus keeps doing the thing that it was doing in the previous videos. Excuse that. I apologize on behalf of the focus of my camera. But anyway, I'm super excited that you guys are here today and we get to dive into the Word of God together. And I'm going to quickly start recording for the podcast people. So let's do this okay there we go it is day number 13 and today we're going to talk about how love always hope always persevere i love this so much because to hope is to keep the faith regardless of the circumstances which goes in hand in hand with perseverance like when you have hope you most likely are going to build perseverance in your heart in your life in your mind and to continue in a course of action which is what basically persevere means and even in the face of difficulty or with little or no indication of um, success and the scripture that i want to read for you guys um the camera is just not focusing i do not know why there we go uh, stick to me here we now we are together yes um so to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty or with little or no indication of success and i felt really crushed by this definition because it means that even when i do not see like the success even when i do not see the victory even when i do not see the greatness to like i do not see it but i hope to see it like even though i can't see the light at the end of the tunnel i hope it's there um, and that's like our faith walk. That's something like, because faith is the substance of things hoped for and, and the evidence of things not seen. And it means that we are believing in the things that we cannot see, we cannot physically touch. And the scripture that I want to read for you today is found in James uh, 1 verse 2. An amazing scripture. I love it. And it speaks about how, um, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And I love the scripture because it reminds us that there will be difficulty and we will struggle to love one another. But there is light at the end of the tunnel called hope. And that is faith. And that is just desiring to see the good in people even when there is no version of the good in people like i say this because like i've met really difficult people in per like difficult people in person and as a believer i've really tried to be nice and it's tough it's really tough and you will always be fa faced with persecution for your religion persecution for your faith and people are going to make it difficult for you because you're a christian or like just any little thing that can make you misstep or misbelieve in your brother or sister you just need to consider it pure joy you need to remember that love always hopes it always perseveres because it means that love will endure across all time even in the face of difficulty love will always succeed love will always win it's never going to stop winning because Jesus is love and I think we've established that already in this devotional that Jesus is love and I want you to go into um, just believing and trusting and wanting to see God manifest his love over you people and just I mean over you and so that out of overflow you operate and that's something that even today in, in, in the discipleship like with Pastor Sam that really stuck out with me was like it's been my prayer and my cry for millions i'm trust me to say millions of years i'm exaggerating of course but it's been my cry for a long time to genuinely out of everything in me that when i serve god that when i give myself to god that i do it out of overflow that i do it out of grace that i do it out of love and never out of obligation never because i have to because i must do it and that's the same way that I approach my leadership that it like every single thing that I speak on my YouTube channel every single thing that I speak on my Instagram on my Facebook uh, I don't even have Facebook but like on my um, TikTok, it comes out of overflow with intimacy with God I never want to do anything without the Lord really pouring into my cup so that I can like you know overflow and overflow into other people's lives because I believe that's how we're supposed to live our lives. I believe that's how God 
intended for that life of abundance you know that we can we constantly live in an overflow of the power and grace and anointing that he's giving us and we can only get to that point when we know his word when we know what he desires of us when we understand the sacrifice that comes with love that he himself gave his life for us so that we can have intimacy with God like God died so that you can be close to him like Jesus died so that you can be reconciled with God that's how much he loved you that he could not watch you in sin and he could not watch you not have hope and he gave us a savior he gave us hope and said here he is this is the demonstration of love this is the full manifest of love and I want us to take that with us as this devotional is nearing to the end I really want you to grab a hold of that part that the love of God will always 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 hope and persevere yeah and that is all that I have for today's devotional I just hope it really spoke to you and touched your heart and that you felt the anointing of God and you really believe in God has like I just really want to know like what this devotional has done for you because God has really great plans for it and I really want to know how it has impacted you and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so day number 14 is going to be a surprise I will shoot it on the day post it on the day so that means it will not be out at 8 o'clock it's probably gonna be out at like midday of Monday um, yeah that's gonna be day number number 14 day number 14 is a surprise um, I'm even I think I'm even I'm thinking of going live but that's gonna be a little tricky because I don't know how to work live with a camera but I don't know I was thinking of going live okay Jesus I did not know that but okay maybe it seems like I'm going live <laughs> um, yeah I'm going live yeah, that's wild that's I've never gone live on any of the social media accounts so this is going to be exciting like going live I wonder who's going to be there yeah I might even have a QA. and a that that would be fun I would do that anyway thank you guys so much for watching like I said don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my other YouTube videos bye and yeah don't forget to check out the full devotional on the love is podcast that is on YouTube and then check it out just like check you know follow me on my social media accounts which is my TikTok and my Instagram on Instagram it's Lynn underscore way underscore and then on TikTok it is Lynn way on TikTok just one word small letters everything yeah and that is all on my Insta on my YouTube it's just Lynn way yeah should probably just pop up there thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>